Hello everyone and welcome to Starry's Treasures. Today she's opening something from National Geographic. What I is what do you have today, Starry? It's black and yellow. Let's find out together. Show us it, Star. This stem. Oh my gosh. This stem. It's National Geographic Ultimate Rock Mineral and Fossil Kit. I even opened it. Comes with over 200 pieces. Holy smokes. Hold oh, right here. Okay, let's open it. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. Ooh. There's booklets. Ooh, it looks like there's a poster. It's a little sandy in here. A little sandy? Yeah. Oh, no, not a little. A lot. I think I need to use that. Should I? No, not yet. I'll say just for last. Okay, why don't you put that to the side here? Let me oh see. Oh my it. god, it's too dusty. <laughs> Got some a little of dust on. Stuff. Some of these are actual fossils, parts of dinosaurs oh, yeah, and I stuff. Oh yeah, I used to make a fossil. We'll examine that closer a little later on. So yeah, we're gonna save that for the end of the video. These look definitely like crystals with fossils at the same time. Mm -hmm. Can we open them? Um, yeah, you can open them. Um, go ahead and pull everything out before you open the bags. So let's do that so everybody can see what you got. Cool. So we got bags of rocks. <gasps> A little magnifying glass to check everything out. Ooh. You know what those These are, are Starry? Gorgeous. Okay, that's done. I'll open these first because they look cool. Those look pretty cool. Okay, let's check those out first. <gasps> real yeah. crystals. Real crystals? And one looks like a real crystal pine cone. Let me get it out. See? It looks like poop. <laughs> like, and it came with a poster and stuff to help us identify each one of these. So that'll be really cool. I hope it's not poop in my hand, but it could be dinosaur poop. You never know. Yeah, it feels like a dinosaur poop. Oh, this feels like dinosaur poop. Oh my gosh, this is... This feels like real glass, except it's not sharp. That's what it feels like. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, you guys! This comes with a disco ball! It came with a disco ball. A disco ball? Yeah, a real one. Wow, there's lots of... Really interesting crystals and rocks and rare oh, things. Oh, this is a real tiny fossil. Wow, that looks like fool's gold. I know. This is awesome. Really neat. That is gorgeous. You can look at them with your magnifying glass real close up and see what they're made of. Yay, I found another one. That's super cool. What about the bag right by your knee? What's in that one? Here? Yeah, that one. That one looks pretty neat and shiny. Yeah, this is gonna. Oh my god. Don't They're kind of so cool. Lots of different rocks and stuff. Yep, and they're colorful. Oh. These bags. Honey, <laughs> my own. Ooh. Those have obviously been through the rock tumbler. Those are all nice and smooth. See tiger eye and a gate. You know this is rose quartz. If you look at from this from here, uh huh. Let me hold it. It's a real crystal from a real crystal. They just broke it off, or maybe it fell off. Who knows? Yeah, this is a ooh, and gee, you're not gonna. Oh my gosh, it's shiny. Oh, here's another one. Oh, this one looks like 
a cat. See. Wow. Should I show? I'm gonna. I don't. Let me. These two are my favorite because look, this one and this one. Yeah, they're so cute. Oh, did not work like that. Did they? So the big surprise, don't open that bag yet because it'll be everywhere. Yeah, we're going to put these aside for now because so we can open this bag. So let's open this bag first. Do you, th do you think you know what's that in that bag? It's fossils. It's geodes. Do you know what a geode is? What? When you break it in half, it's got colorful um, crystals inside. That's what the hammer's for. It looks like a pine cone, like a dinosaur pooped out a pine cone. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't even see this. Alright, if we're on, hold on for just a moment. I'm going to go get a cutting board so that we don't break the table. Yeah, because it's already... Guys! Guys! Oh, Crystal! Crystal! <laughs> go ahead and put this down. Go Ooh. ahead and put your rocks on there. Even this Nope, just the ones that came out of that one bag, because those are your geodes. Should I break this too? Let's not. There's a way to open it, but I don't think it's supposed to be opened right now. Yeah, oh, here, I see it. It's, you put your fingers, see the bottom there? Yeah. Is you it get the tape <laughs> off, it's tape. Oh, it's tape. Okay, well that makes sense. So we have to break these open? Yeah, if you want, just hit it down the middle. Oh, uh, I'm just jogging that. I found a type of stuff. Oh, hold on. Let's... I love this one. Wait, let's try the big one. This one? Yep. Okay, try it one more time. Alright, here, let me try. Pass. Whoa! It might fly. That's true. Yep, and that's why I don't want to get hit in the feet. Hmm. I let think we need a stronger hammer. We may have to do that at Daddy's. 50,000 hammer. Yep, we'll have to see. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put that on side for now. Let's see if we can break this one. You want to try and break a smaller one? Okay. Yeah, that would be easy because it looks right. so easy. It's already breaking apart, kind of. Kind of? Oh. Yeah, it's barely. All right. Okay. Hmm. I think we need to stop before our neighbors get upset. <laughs> All right, Starry, why don't you show us some other things? Okay, bear, it's just... First grade, we used to make... Do that to other rocks. Really? Yep. It was fun, like, like rock dust. Could we were not on? Maybe we need to be on more solid ground rather than a coffee table. Yeah, cause it's. I'm. I'm afraid it's gonna break cheesy. Yeah, and it's super loud. Yeah. So, so we'll try that in the next video, everybody. Sorry, but we'll make sure you know. Wait, what about this bag? Okay, so you want to go ahead and sort that out? I have to sort. I just let's just sort them out. All right. So let's get a little closer for that. Yep, and it will take like. 25 minutes or 20 so yeah. all right so go ahead and dump us out star try and keep it on the whoa see over 200 pieces that's definitely okay guys if you can't see you can mm. only see these 
Because they're really tiny. So beautiful. Look at this. Sorry, this is great for you starting your rock collection. Yeah. You can't I can't find these in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, me. OMG, look at this one. Looks gorgeous. I love that one. Doesn't so, can you find any of the ones in this book? Look, there's one called Tiger Eye. Can you find any that look like this? It says, Tiger's Eye is a lustrous gemstone that occurs mainly in South Africa and East Asia. When polished, Tiger's Eye displays distinctive bands of color that give the effect of moving waves of brown, yellow, and gold as the light catches the different parts of the stone. It is a member of the quartz family and has a hardness of 7.0 on the Mohs scale, about the same as hardened steel. Wow, I didn't know that. Let's I... see if we can find one over here. Oh, I bet you. Is this it? Yeah. Well, let's see if it matches. Does this look like it, everybody? <gasps> You're right. Look, look at this one. Ooh. That'd be nice if we could find one of those in the yes. book. Yes. And now we awesome. Let's find Oh, do you remember, Starry? Do you remember that <laughs> one I called Fool's Gold? The really shiny stuff? Do you have that still? Look. Right here. Look here in the book. Yep. Oh. Pyrite, it's called. The shiny yellow gold looks color of pyrite crystals often led people to believe they had found gold, and so it was nicknamed fool's gold. Its name comes from the Greek word for fire because it creates sparks when struck against steel. Woohoo! Oh, look. Is there any quartz crystals? There is a lot, guys. Okay? There's a lot? Yes, and there's some over here. So there's... Right. It's almost kind of like these, mm -hmm. except it's not that shape. Oh, maybe like this? It's this. It's I this. I think they cut it into that shape. Oh my gosh, yes, we do have some quartz crystals. We got a lot. Oh my gosh, my hair is in the way. I think I should have put it up, right? Did I? Oh yeah, I was reading the headband. <laughs> okay, we got a rose quartz. Do you have any rose quartz? I think. It's pink. This is pink. Very pink. It is. I wow. think that comes up. Wow, that was what quick. Argonite. It's kind of like a like red, ooh. red crystally thingy. Like these? Oh no no! How about that one over there that looks like a flower? Right here. Yeah yeah. Uh no, it looks like a flower behind it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Does that look like it? Oh. Oh, yes it does, except it's a little different color, so yep. it's, it's okay. Okay, what about this adventuring? What color is that? Oh, that's darkest green, because I think it's... Ooh. Okay, ooh, adventuring. One of the many varieties of quartz usually occurs as a green stone, though some blue, gray, orange, or brown specimens can be found. Small flakes of mica or hematite can make adventuring sparkle and glisten, an effect called... Aventurine sense. Okay. Then calcite. Calcite is a common constitute of limestone and is one of the main minerals found in the shells of marine organisms like oysters. Wait. I didn't know oysters had that. See that part of the earth. Yeah, everything's part of the earth. These. Mm hmm. Yeah, they are. Look. Ooh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, they're part of the earth. Those are the earth to wear ones. Look, we got hematite. It's a mineral oh, wait, form of iron is oxide. One, is that? Is it? Uh, I think it's really silvery. It's Almost. really silvery. Oh, I see those a lot. You can find them in your neighborhood. It's typically steel gray in appearance. Ooh. Let's you see can, if we find any steel gray. This one's so cute. It's so that tiny. One's still gray. Oh, look. Right here. Oh, that's still gray. That looks, yeah, that looks still gray to me. All right. So we do have some of that. Wait. Ooh, what's this? It looks like, like chocolate. <laughs> meteorites. There are three types of meteorites. Stony iron and stony iron meteorites. Most of the meteorites you see in the sky are stony meteorites. 
Many contain bits of dust and rock from when the planets of our solar system were formed 4.6 billion years ago. Others contain more recent rock that I found was formed it. when uh, other no. rock melted and then hardened up again. Wow, that's pretty this neat. This one melted. <gasps> Look at this one, snowflake, obsidian. It okay. looks like snowflakes all over. We got it. We do? Yeah. Oh, we got two of them. Maybe more. Oh, that was the oh, earth one. Wow. And that's formed from volcanic glass. Nice. Another one. Sweet, Starry, we are so lucky. Oh yeah, barely. You're gonna have to show that off at school. When we hear the word crystal, most of us think of mineral forms of angular sides and sharp points, but sometimes crystals form in flat plates that stack on top of each other, making them appear flaky. Do we have any desert rose? Desert rose? I think it's these. Is it those? Oh, this one, this one, this one. This one. Here we go. Look at that. It's it's these two. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. Oh, we found a bunch of them. Look at that, folks. Desert Rose. It is so awesome. Guys, you guys. Okay, look at the front of this. Ooh. Yeah, I'm that's my orchard. Really I'll play with the orchard. Ah, my hips hurt. And hips. <laughs> Red Jasper. We got any Red Jasper out there? Ooh, looks like it's everywhere. Right here and here and there, and I see plenty of it. Jasper is a hard, opaque gemstone with very special characteristics. A variety of chalcedony, a type of quartz made up of microcrystals. Is it this one? Um, I think so. Yeah, it's okay. Jasper is very smooth and does not flake when cut, and it can be polished. To a higher luster is ideal for making jewelry goblets or other decorative parts yeah you can make a lot of jewelry out of it and then we also have pumice look at pumice it looks like a rock with a whole bunch of caves in it wait i just found this oh starry found our next one right here it looks like a shell it look it looks like it got Ammonites dry. are sea animals. These are is that a sea first animal. appeared in the fossil record around 400 million years ago and became extinct at the same time as the dinosaurs. They had soft bodies and used their spiral-shaped shell for protection. Scientists believe they may have avoided predators by squirting ink. Ammonites belong to the group of sea animals called cephalopods which includes the modern octopus and squid. They had eyes and tentacles and used jet propulsion to push themselves under the water. Wow, and we've got a fossil of them. <laughs> you found all the red jasper. Good for you, Starry. Carprolite. That kind of looks funky. Like this one looks funky. Yeah, I think that's our carprolite. Except it just it's got a fossil. That means it used to be an animal or part of an animal. Yeah. Um, and it looks like... Wait, if you... You see the one that red? It looks blood. It looks like blood dried up in it. Oh, anything's possible. I mean, and stuff could have stuck to it over time. Gastropods. Oh, we're... Sahara gastropod and really pink gastropod. Like Those look like shells, too. I like this. Like horns. Like this. Look, we did find a couple of them. Oh, yeah. In our collection. That's pretty cool. These are pretty awesome. Yep, and I also got an extra chair so I can see. And there's modern snails. Crawl around on their bodies using muscular foot. The ancient Greeks named them gastropod, which literally means stomach foot. Okay. Oh, I found stomach foot. Oh, and then we got clams. We've seen stomach clams foot. before. Stomach foot. That's a clam, sorry. <laughs> clam fossils are easily recognized because they look almost exactly like present day clams. They are bivalves, meaning they have an upper and lower shell, and the two shells are hinged together so the animal can open them to feed and close them for protection. That is so awesome. And then we have sand tiger shark. Ooh. It's a shark. 
back to. You know what? I'm starting to wonder if that's what's in our fossil box. It's a shark tooth. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what's probably in our fossil box, which you know you always have to put can't your seem hair to get on. open. My but if you looks, look, you can see. Looks like a. Yep, that's definitely a shark tooth in there. Yeah, you can't. It won't let you open it. You're not yeah. supposed to open it. <laughs> I wonder where my sleeves are. Oh, we yeah. haven't found these ones yet. Nope, I'm sure we'll come across it. Some oh, guys, those. guys, 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 guys. This pink one is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. There's brachiopods. Are animals that live on the bottom of the ocean and they were one of the most plentiful types of shellfish in the ancient seas. Though they look like clams or oysters, they are not related to those animals. Like other bivalves, they have two shells that are joined with a muscular hinge. Pretty cool. And then we have the crow shark. Ooh, that looks like a shark tooth. That's probably in our fossil box too. Or maybe not. It's a baby shark, too. <laughs> it's a baby shark, too, Starry says. The crow shark was a formidable shark that lived throughout the entire Crustaceous period. See? Look, it fits barely. It does. In. Yeah, and that's the, um, like, the growing up one. Mm hmm And then they came extinct. They are primarily known for a few oh. fossil vertebrae and from their teeth. Here's a tiny one. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, it was the back tooth, I think. Oh, and looks like we came to the end of our book. That is impossible. Isn't that great? We also have... This guy is a... Oh, wait. We also have what looks wait, like... Wait, guys, guys, guys. Hold on, before we leave. Yep, Star is showing us our geode. Geo, we never found. Mm hmm Well, we no, we found them. <laughs> we just couldn't crack them open. Oh, these are geos. Yeah. See, we got, and this one was that one's already open. See the crystals inside. There was Rocks different colors. Uh, it's Here, almost let's open. Let's read about the geode for a second. Here. And there's also a little bag. Yeah, it came with a little pouch. You can put your favorite rocks in them. Yep. Geodes. Uh, perhaps the most fascinating of all rock formations, geodes are hollow rocks in which beautiful crystals have formed. These round rocks get their name from the Greek words for shape of the earth. They may look plain on the outside, but you can never know what glorious beauty awaits within a geode until you crack it open. So, there we go. International Learning Guide. Beautiful cover. Very accurate. Everything that it said a it was going to have, it has. A birthday cake one. It's like a birthday cake. Oh, you found a birthday cake one. That's great. Okay, so it also came with that a so rock cool. mineral and fossil identification sheet. So you can easily find your favorites. Polished stones. That's what most of those ones are. They're all shiny. Polished means they went through a... A rock tumbler. There's our quartz, our red jasper. Uh, nothing on the back. So yeah, this is fun for us. Um, we'll find something bigger to go crack those geodes on. Maybe we'll take it outside and do it on the right now on the sidewalk. No, not right now. <laughs> but it'll definitely be in this video. So hold on for look just a sec and we'll go take care of that see you soon wait guys look oh sorry i want to show you her vouch oh and don't forget to subscribe we got a whole lot more unboxing starry's birthday is in a few days so we're kind of slowly it's giving her her it's birthday like presents and opening days. stuff up it's like in seven days because it's already november yeah it's already november 2020 it's november it's been a heck of a year but we're having fun Make we're keeping sure you it tie real it. These are my gorgeous favorite. Oh, this is the shiniest one. Oh. And again, that's National Geographic Ultimate Rock Mineral and Fossil Learning Guide Activity Kit. And then, and don't forget to have a parent help you open it. And we're gonna see when we 
Open these. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, everybody.